BestColleges.com ranks Stony Brook among the top universities for diversity. But one group of Stony Brook students feel that the university doesn't go far enough in fostering an equal community. Eric Schmidt found out more. Dear black people, we are important and we are more than enough. Last week, members of Stony Brook's black student community gathered to discuss the current issues and struggles that face the black and African American community both on and off campus. Well, basically, not only are we talking about our problems, we're also going to ask the audience how can we move forward, how can we heal the wounds that has been severed. The event, called Dear Black People, also stressed unity. The sole purpose of this G body is to tell people that we are all one. You understand, we fall under the same umbrella. It doesn't matter if you're Dominican. It doesn't matter if you're Jamaican. For others, though, Dear Black People was another event helping to unify black and African-American students against an administration they feel is leaving them behind. We realize that we're not underrepresented, but unrepresented, and that's problematic um, for us. And we don't, we want to change that but we realize that we can't change that when we're divided. Stony Brook's Department of Institutional Research, Planning and Effectiveness reports that the percentage of black and African American students at Stony Brook has stayed still around 6.5% of the student body for the past nine years. For comparison, more than one quarter of New York City residents are black. Other cities like Buffalo and Hempstead have even higher percentages, according to data from the U.S. Census. No one cares. No one cares about black students at Stony Brook University and if they do, the people who do care, we all know their names. <laughs> we, are, we can count them on hand. We need to work on collaboration um, with faculty and staff and administration on the campus and bringing them into the fold. But that's hard to do, especially when Stony Brook's diversity plan doesn't mention any specific goals for increasing the black and African American population on campus. For MacArthur, though, the struggle for more representation is greater than herself. Potentially, like, my little cousins will be coming here because right now is the time where they're looking into colleges and universities and things like that, and I don't want them to feel like they don't belong here, especially because they're, they do. They have just as much right as to a great Stony Brook education as anyone else does. Diversity has been a perennial subject for Stony Brook ever since the university announced its diversity plan more than a year ago. The issue continues on November 8th when President Stanley hosts a town hall meeting to discuss the progress and implementation of the plan here in the Wong Theater. For Stony Brook News, I'm Eric Schmidt. Stony Brook News contacted admissions for this story. They responded, quote, we have a comprehensive recruitment strategy to attract and enroll students from underrepresented backgrounds, including black and African American students. They say the strategy has yielded the second highest number of black and African American undergraduates for fall 2017, an increase of only 70 out of 17,000 undergraduates.